Uh, Brock the Yahawa, Brock the Yahawa Shai, Brock the Yahawa, Brock the Yahawa Shai, Brock the Yahawa, Brock the Yahawa Shai. Oh, praise unto Yahweh, Bashimi Yahweh Shai, Wahar Rukakadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So, this is going to be a quick video. Um, I'm probably going to entitle this um, something to the effect of uh, he lost his children. He lost his, uh, uh, his, his, his his money, okay, and he lost his woman, you know, what did, he, what did he do? And ultimately, this video is going into really touching on a little bit, okay, on how this so-called um, uh, marriage by way of Esau's rules, okay, this is not biblical, okay? Matter of fact, when you go into the scriptures, when you go into the Bible, the Bible uh, uh, functions in a totally different way, okay, of which I'm going to pull up some scriptures in the background. But when you go into the scriptures, the Bible doesn't, does. when you have sex with a woman, she becomes your wife, all right? So when you got this thing of going out there, buying some uh, exorbitantly priced, okay, uh, 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 ring, okay, and having, you know, this, this extravagant w wedding, only for the thing to have like a like a like a forty percent success rate is totally ridiculous. Matter of fact, if you look at it from another perspective, all right, you look at it from a business perspective, all right. If you and your boy was to sit down and say, "Look, let's invest in this, that, and the third, but it's only got a forty percent success rate," then you're gonna look at that dude sideways, like, "Look, dude, you want me to put ten? You want us to both put ten G's down?" Okay, with with a forty with a forty percent chance of this being successful, that's ridiculous. Matter of fact, marriage is even worse than that because you're gonna have children and all kind of different, you know, you know, uh, assets, so houses and all of that. That's 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 gonna leave you jacked up. Okay, so let me get this first scripture. All right, uh, um, which is gonna be um, within the book of uh, uh, Genesis, uh, dealing with one of our forefathers. And I'm going to read it in the background. And um, she became his, his wife. I'm just searching it in the background. Okay, because the Bible, when you go into the scriptures, pretty much once you have sex with a woman, that's your wife or that's your concubine. Okay, and nobody, nobody else was supposed to deal with that. And that makes sense because when you're piping abroad a in that, she takes on your spirit. So you meet... You know, you got a lot of, lot of, lot of people are meeting all of these bros that are jacked up in the head because they've been with a lot of different dudes, man. Okay, they got all kind of different spirits on them, and the proof of that is when you go into science, they say pretty much once, once you, once you, once you do the business, and 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 the love juices, <laughs> and the love juices flow. Okay, pretty much that merges with the with the, with the woman's uh, 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 um. Uh, 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 DNA or whatever, whatever. I mean, I don't know if that's true or whatever, but really, when you see a, these chicks that been with a lot of dudes, okay, unless unless it be like a harlot, I mean, they usually got a lot of spirits on them. But even them harlots got a lot of spirits on them because they're taking in all kind of semen, man. Okay, so the most side didn't set it up so, and then you you factor in how the the, the most side set it up to where what that the children of Israel they was gonna divide their uh, uh, um, inheritance okay by way of the father so you're, you're going by way of the father but if you don't know who the father is he it is okay you know this 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 broad has been sleeping with all kind of different dudes okay nobody knows who the baby is from now you got it to where the inheritance is going in, in into a place where it ain't supposed to be going okay so the most i set it up to where what that there was a pure way of 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 of, 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 of things going down where basically a man has more sexual rights and liberty than a woman and the woman is supposed to be bound to one has husband and that's also too in the book of romans which i'll get in which i'll get in a second in fact i could get that now which is in the book of romans okay the seventh chapter on the second verse it says for the woman uh which hath an husband is bound by the law okay this is the scriptures and this is the new testament okay for the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth that means to say, if you came into the so-called relationship, which that's a shit word of using it. That's Esau's word. Okay, it's a marriage from the time you get piped. The book of Genesis, the, the 24th chapter is going to show you that. Okay, pretty much that dude 
turns out to be a dead, a so-called dead beat. Because you you can have a, a dude that looks like a dead beat within this world, and he could be he could be he could be a, 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 a seen highly in the, in the sight of the Most High. Was a good example of that. The man John, John the Baptist, because if John the Baptist was here today, pretty much people would have looked at him down on him, man. Okay, pretty much people would have looked at him like he was a bum. But guess what? That's a person that the Most High had a lot of favor toward. And much like the, the vast majority of the prophets of the Lord, this world was going to look down on them as bums and whatever, whatever. But the reality of the situation is that what? They, 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 the Most High, has, uh, they, they, got, they found favor with Yahweh Hashim and Shai, man. And, and if that dude was to, you know, um, of which you ain't going to find no virgin out here, but let's say you were supposed to find a virgin out here, basically that's supposed to be your so-called wife, man. Okay, but see, that's not how it goes down over here. People use this thing of 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 um of of, of relationships and this stuff, and that's not what the Most High set up. Okay, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you just you do, as a man, you do what you have to do, but that's not how it was set up. Okay, so, you know, I'm just doing this for edification purposes. This ain't no ad advice uh, for him. This is for just to show you what the Scripture says. Okay, so uh, Romans 7 and 2, it says, For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband as long as he liveth. So if that dude lose money, okay, let's say he became a whoremonger, okay, and, and he spent all the so-called inheritance on the on them prostitutes, well, guess what? You're supposed to be down for the right, man. Okay, that's what the scripture says, okay? But if the husband be dead, she be loose from the law of her husband. So the only time a woman was able to leave a, 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 a man, okay, was if what? Was if uh, 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 he was dead. Now guess what the scripture says as it concerns a, 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 a man, okay? It, it, a woman rather more. It says if, if she doesn't go the way you would have her, that's when you cut her off from that flesh. So you're damn right that the man, according to the scriptures, New Testament and Old, has more freedom. But guess what? Like the first point says here, when you get so-called married within this world, you lose your you, you lose your freedom, and that's just within this world. But even more so, when you come into this thing of the scriptures, you lose all your your freedom, man. Okay, your so-called liberties, man, because now you're bound by the state. Okay, pretty much to give up everything. Okay, so um, I'm gonna read this within the book of Genesis, the twenty-fourth chapter, um. And the 64th verse and says, And Rebekah lifted up her eyes, and she saw Isaac, and she li lifted off the camel. For, sh uh, for she had said unto her servant, What is this man that walketh in the field to meet us? And, and, and the servant said, It is thy master. Therefore she took off her veil and covered herself. And the servant told they, uh, Isaac all these things that had been done. And Isaac brought her into his mother's tent said into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebecca all right meaning they had sex and she became his wife okay and he loved her so pretty much the, by the minute he popped her okay he had sex with her that's when she became his wife not through no uh, ceremony okay so I'm just gonna pick out some points and you know I'll, I'll you know I'll keep it as uh, as spiritual as possible okay so uh uh, uh you know, you got this thing. I mean, some of these are, are, are carnal, so I'm just going to miss them out. So I missed two out. Okay. Uh, three. Now it says here, you can't turn a, 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 a hoe into a housewife. And pretty much most of these, most of these women, you know, most of these women are, 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 are harlots. But guess what? Okay. Some of these harlots is going to make it on a chariot before a lot of these so-called righteous looking people. You got, you got, you got a lot of people in this so-called camp okay you got a lot of people in 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 in, in next so-called camp that are, 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 are what that are into um into this holier than now approach to this truth but the reality of the situation is the outward the outward man the outward man the more sign concerned about the outward person the more size concerned with the, with the persons are, 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 are inward because on the outside you could look like you're the most righteous person on the earth but the reality of the situation is that what? On the inside, you could be the most conniving person. Case in point, Esau, okay, who rules this world, on the outside, they wear all of these expensive suits and they'll be talking hella good game. But inwardly, they're what? They, the scripture says that what? Although the words were smoother than butter, but the reality is that swords were drawn, man. 
okay now six it says the cost of engagement again when you go by the scriptures like we just read within the book of romans you ain't gonna do all of that craziness man okay the minute you pipe the broad that's your that's your woman man now if you want to buy her jewelry whatever whatever that's 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 between you the more side and that 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 that, that broad but the reality of the situation is you don't have to do all of that okay the cost of the wedding now this is the bit i was i was um I was speaking to you about now they're saying they're saying the average is about twenty six thousand. okay couples typically spend between 19 and 33 so we take 25 as the average okay and and, and you say what you say that's the money you're gonna put put down in cash and then you're gonna buy a house for this broad okay and then she's gonna walk away with a half of that okay all all, all, all for the back of what emotions man that's not a wise thing to do okay that's that's in business that's no that's what's known as a passion project all right like we, we, you you see certain guys or certain businesses that fell through what through passion projects they invested a lot of money into what into something that they was emotionally attached to a lot of directors in, in the so-called movie industry they they fall down by way of so-called passion projects because why because instead of following a formula that's going to be lucrative they go via their emotions and they think that what Okay, the child of their mind is going to bring forth the money. Now, sometimes it does, but the reality is most of the time it doesn't. Just like how most of the time that what? Most of the time you can have, a, you can have it to where you, you know, you're madly emotional about an individual and you find out this person is a crazy twat. <laughs> okay? Uh, uh, um, monogamy denies your nature as a man. And we're going to see that within the scriptures in a second. Because pretty much a man can have as much women as he can afford. And it makes sense. Okay, if the moral side raised up a particular individual to have all kind of money, it makes sense that that person is going to be a what? A good provider, man. Okay, now, obviously, if you don't have the capital, why are you having all of these, breeding all of these women? That don't make no sense. Okay? But see, this world is so jacked up. Everybody's just on a free throw. But like I said, you know, this ain't no advice for them. This is just showing you what the scripture says. That's it. Okay? And then it goes into the debt. Okay? And then also, too, it goes into what? into what uh, uh, uh um the last bit uh which is um uh the cost of divorce okay because most of these most of these uh, uh, uh so-called relationships they want because it's a passion project they dwindle man because these women pretty much these women they got the power here let me get this scripture here within the book of isaiah okay and that's really the main thing all right because that's not how the scripture does see when you when you do this so-called marriage thing pretty much what you're doing is you're, you're giving your power away okay you're giving your power away and by giving your power away basically she's gonna lose interest in you that's the reality of the situation is because guess what women are all about power man they're attracted to power all right that's why any dude with any kind with, with some kind of power you can always bag bag all kind of bras but you could be the nicest looking dude out there when people see you as a as as a, as a, as, a, as a, a, a powerless and guess what you ain't gonna have too much case in point the israelite man he it is the scripture says that what we're the salt of the earth and look at look at the way our women treat us man because we ain't got no power but the scripture says that what that thy, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power both the the the, the women gonna be willing okay and, and and all of these dudes that are scoffing they're gonna fall into the program because they're gonna see the power of the Lord, man. Okay. Now uh, 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 it says there, um, and obviously you know, you know, I have to, I have to sense that because people are gonna, gonna take that the, the wrong way. The scripture says that that people shall be willing in the day of thy power. So what? So the women are gonna be doing what women do, and the men are gonna be doing what they're supposed to be doing. So don't get stupid with that statement. That is to say that what the, the whole camp's gonna be in order. Our uh, women ain't gonna be out there whoring. They're gonna be our wives. And then you're going to have these dudes that are scoffing out here. They're going to be in their right mind and they're going to have their wives. Okay. Uh, the book of Isaiah, this third chapter in the 16th verse, it says, Moreover, the Lord saith, uh, uh, um, no, that's not the one I wanted. Okay. Uh, um, I try, it, I, let me try, try to remember the wording of, of, the, of, the, of the precept. Okay. It goes, um, women rule over them. That's it. Okay. Women rule over them. Bear with me. 
Okay, Isaiah, yeah, it was, it was over there. It says, uh, Isaiah 3 and 12, it says, As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women women rule over them. And the main way, you, the main way you're going to have a woman rule over you is via what? Is via uh, that marriage contract, man. Okay, all of a sudden, you know, the, the power is going to shift. And that's why people say that, what, after you get married, everything changes. Because why? Because you sign, as a man, you're signing over your, your, your masculinity away. Okay, you're putting your balls okay inside of her um you're, you're basically you're putting your balls inside of her handbag man okay so um so this is um this is this particular article it says what marriage would actually look if we actually followed the bible and i'm just gonna shoot shoot fast through this okay it says polygamy polygamy is the norm in the old testament check out the scriptures you had sex slaves okay the bible provides instructions on how to acquire several types of sex slaves <laughs> okay for example if a man buys a hebrew girl okay if she, uh, she uh please not her master he can't sell her to a foreigner he must allow her to go free and um, uh, uh, if he doesn't provide for her and i have to remember how to I, you know sometimes he so mangles these mangles these scriptures now after let me read that off the top of the back okay and just sense check that uh um uh exodus 12 uh, exodus 21 and 7 it says if it, if a man sell his daughter uh to be a, a maid servant okay she shall not go out out of her uh, of she might she shall not go out as the men servants do if she pleases not her master, for he has betrothed to him, he has betrothed her to himself. <laughs> She's just another form of marriage. Okay, so it says, then shall he let her be redeemed to sell her unto a, 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 to sell her unto a strange nation. Shall he have no power, seeing he hath dealt deceitfully with her? Okay, uh, uh, continuing it says, war booty. We all know about that. Okay, you go to war. You, bring home uh, uh sexual sexual beauties man and that's where that word comes from now they go off here they say incest but really that was that was lawful okay because there's unlawful incest but then there's you know uh, uh close quarters but it's not incest okay your brother's widow you're supposed to raise up seed to your brother's widow wi widow okay you, you if you what you see your wife's supposed to have handmaidens man she's supposed to have slaves and guess what as a man if you're going to bring some, I mean, think about it, man. Here it is, you got your, your woman, that's your main lady, and you got these bros that do her hair and all of that. If they're, they, if they're getting piped by another woman, man, so, sorry, but guess what? That's going to bring a, 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 a different vibe in your house. So guess what? When your wife had her own slave, you was piping those slaves, man. Okay? Uh, 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 other slaves, rape victim, obviously you have to pay a dowry, okay? And then you that would become your wife okay so hey uh, oh so, and it goes on to say in new testament nothing changes because guess what when the law was on the scene he said what uh, i came not to change the law but to fulfill so pretty much that's the video i don't want to drag this out for too long uh, with that i'm gonna say oh praise unto you uh uh double honors unto the positive great millstone honestly brothers uh, that be pushing these truth and sincerity shalom